infighting in the Clinton world is uh, as reliable as the sun rising in the east. But my question to you about this is whether this is kind of a sign of bad stuff to come. Well, it's leading the Drudge Report, so I'm getting 90s nostalgia. Chaos in Clinton land, and it's uh, going to be all over the right wing. Yeah. David Brock is, a, is someone who went from being on the right to being a, a real Clinton insider. And this points to a problem that Hillary Clinton's going to have, yeah. which is there are things like this, overreaction to stories and reaction to stories, in every presidential campaign. Yeah. When it happens to her, Watch out. Well, also, you've got, it's just so huge. The whole thing has already this atmosphere of gigantism. There was that story over the weekend in the Times, 200 policy advisors advising her on economic policy. She, I was talking to someone who's very close to them just a few days ago who said that his concern was that the whole thing was going to collapse under its own weight because there's just so many people all trying to get in on the action, and that creates just so many opportunities for infighting and factionalism. David, this David, is one side David of that. Brock is a particularly operatic figure. Well, no doubt. No doubt. Wolf, but there are so many people, and again, and every time something like this happens, unlike with anyone else running for president, it will be a huge deal. Hillary Clinton can sort of slough this off, or she can be alarmed and try to fix this kind of thing from happening. When David Brock says the priorities was out to get uh, his other groups, what do you think the likelihood is that's true? Because, you know, there's some pretty uh, hard-hitting guys over there at Priorities USA, including Jim Messina, the former President Obama's former campaign manager. Competition for the dollars between these groups is a problem, and it will be a problem, less so when she decides to eventually run and direct the money towards her. All right.